Have you ever wondered how autotune was invented? I most certainly have. And so I decided to do some research. It all started in 1969. During this time, most militaries relied on radio technology for communication. Although radio technology had advanced in leaps and bounds since it was first invented, it still was not perfect. Radio transmissions during this time were just not powerful enough to cover long distances. And a voice transmitted via radio waves? It was just too grainy. You could not actually make out what was being said. Actually, it sounded something like this. See the problem? Now the British were determined to improve the quality of communication via radio transmission. They particularly wanted to erase the annoying grainy sound. And so, on the 19th of January, 1969, the British military began work on inventing a device that could filter out the annoying grainy sound from incoming radio wave transmissions. One of Britain's most accomplished radio wave and nanoparticle scientists, Dr. Ben Dover, was assigned the responsibility of overseeing and directing the entire operation. And so, together with 68 highly qualified scientists, electricians and satellite technology experts, the work began in earnest. And less than three months later, on the 1st of April 1969, a working prototype of this device was created. Unfortunately, what happened next was shocking. You see, the device was to be tested on the 21st of April. And if everything went well, it was to be implemented into the ranks of the British military. However, during testing, the device did not work as planned. Although the device, which was now called the Dover Box, successfully managed to filter out all grainy sounds from incoming radio wave transmissions, it also did something quite weird. It distorted the speaker's voice in such a manner that the voice started to resemble a strange melodic tune. Unsurprisingly, the military was not too pleased with the outcome of the test and further attempts to create a device that would suit their purpose was strictly prohibited. But that's not the end of the story. The Dover box was brought to the attention of an amateur songwriter almost a decade later. This man saw the potential of this weird little device, and the rest is quite literally history. This amateur songwriter is a marvellous man. His name is Mr. Did Not Exist.